Twenty fans back, and before I get this next top ten list done, I'd like to give a plug to Mr. WWE TNA fan fanboy. His link will be in the description box. Go check him out. Huge wrestling fan, so please go subscribe to him. In this video, I'm going to talk about my top ten favorite Royal Rumble matches. Not the Royal Rumble match itself. I will state that my favorite ones are the Royal Rumble matches from 2001 and 1998. My favorite Royal Rumble events are Royal Rumble 1998 and 2001. Great Royal Rumbles in my opinion. And I also enjoyed the 99 Royal Rumble. This is just my li list of the top, my favorite matches that took place in the, these respective Royal Rumbles. And if I didn't and I really would ask that you all respect my opinions. So this is just my list, and if you don't like it, you can make me make your own video response. Till then, just sit there, just have a coke, smile, and just relax. Let's get started. Number ten, Triple H versus Kurt Angle for the World Wrestling Federation title, Royal Rumble 2001. This was actually a very exciting match. I remember the start. I remember the promo for this match where Triple H said, "Kurt Angle, you are still the WWF champion because I have allowed it." That was a bold statement by Triple H. They actually were a great match. Number nine, the tables match from Royal Rumble 2000 with the Deli Boys versus the Hardy Boys. This match was very vi was very violent and very good and the fans were into this match. Number eight, Brett the Hitman Hart versus Diesel, Royal Rumble 1995. A great a um, very misused match. But it was actually a pretty entertaining match. This this next match was very controversial. It was the Royal Rumble nineteen ninety four casket match for the World Wrestling Federation title with Yokozuna defending the title against The Undertaker. The Undertaker had this match won until Yokozuna had a bunch of other WWF stars come out there and help him win the match. This match made my list because it was a very controversial ending to the match. Number 6, Chris Jericho versus The, Chris Jericho versus the Rock, Royal Rumble 2002. This match was for the WWF undisputed title was Chris Jericho was the first champion. We had a nickel for every while we heard that if we had a nickel for each we were reminded of that that this match comes in at number six. They actually worked a very good match with two very good talents in the ring. Number five, Randy Orton versus Triple H for the World Heavyweight title, Royal Rumble two thousand five. They actually worked the a good match. They were very good in this match with their styles of wrestling. I mean, but number four, Triple H versus Cactus Jack, Royal Rumble 2000, Street Fight for the WWF title. This was one of the most violent matches in wrestling history. And what can you say when you have Mick Foley in the match? You're going to get a violent match. And Triple H was. Giving him all, giving McFoley and Cactus Jack all he got, and vice versa. Neil one was going down without a fight. They were bloodied by the end of this match. They were so bloody it wasn't even funny. Number three, another controversial match: Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker for the World Wrestling Federation title, Royal Rumble 1998. One of the best matches ever, ever to take place at the Royal Rumble. These guys could always work a great match together. And was another thing is was the controversy of this match. Road Dog, Billy Gunn, and Savio in the in the Rivals. I'm sorry, I can't remember their name. It's hard for me to pronounce their name, the group name. But anyway, they came out there and beat up the Undertaker, and then Kane came out there. Everybody assumed that Kane was going to help the Undertaker, and he did. He did help the Undertaker. But he eventually turned on the Undertaker and helped Sean win the match. Then, as we all know, Kane set the casket on fire with the Undertaker inside. Which y'all know made my list as the most top 
one of the top ten attempted murders in wrestling. Kane didn't, and Paul Bearer didn't get arrested for it. Number two, ladder match. Royal Rumble 2001 for the Intercontinental title. Chris Jericho versus Chris Benoit. These guys worked a heck of a match. These two, they needed the ladder periodically, and they were doing all kinds of crazy things in this match. They were just violent. Coming in number one, y'all should have guessed it. The Royal Rumble 1999 I Quit match for the World Wrestling Federation title. The Rock vs. Mankind. This was one of the best matches in WWF history. And in and their career, career for that matter, they were beating each other up pretty bad. And The Rock was being the heel that he is in this match. I mean, we all never saw that he was going to cheat to win the match by using the previous recording on Sunday night. On Sunday night heat that he... But Mankind did a promo and he was saying, I quit, I quit, I quit. And The Rock became the champion. And then McFoley gets his revenge. But still, this match, there's almost, you can't deny that this match had to be the best match in the Royal Rumble. But in my opinion, these 10 matches are the best. It's like, there's, there's these 10 matches and then there's everything else. Well, thank y'all for watching. Take care.